Blaziken is finally back in the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC, the Indigo Disc. It didn't get any huge buffs, but it now has the addition of Upper Hand, which can be used to stop Priority Extreme Speed from Pokemon like Dragonite. But Blaziken isn't really a Pokemon that needs buffs, because Speed Boost plus Swords Dance was always enough. Despite that, Blaziken now finds itself falling down to the UU tier, where today we'll be using it alongside other monsters like Swords Dance, Scale Shot, Garchomp. Let's see how it does. So Blaziken is UU, Iron Moth UU, Garchomp is UU, Garg is UU, Rabombi who was OU for a minute is you you have this team from lily i've been modifying it and testing it out on the ladder pretty fun and definitely made it a little bit better right now i think with the uh the changes with like skill swap and stuff like that i'm terra ghost garg which looks insane in this matchup as well let's start it out i can get up some webs and go from there i actually skill swap immediately as well and then go for uh I go for Stun Spore if they want to stay in. If they, if they switch, that's fine too. But I go for Stun Spore here. Perfect. So Garg is now paralyzed. Exactly what we want. And we can get up Sticky Web as well. So, again, Garg being paralyzed is essentially a dead Garg. It is essentially a dead Garg. Also just going to get off a lot of damage right here too. I think I can go Blaziken right after and start. Oh my god. Yeah, I definitely can go Blaziken right after and just start cooking. What do we even bring out? There's a free knock. Yeah, give me that mod. All right, so first KO for Blaziken. Let's go, baby. And a little speed boost right there. Obviously, Torn is problematic. I'm debating if I even keep it Terra Dark. It's good for Latios, but I'm debating if I keep it Terra Dark. Depending on what they go out to, I might even SD. Not this, though. <laughs> All right, this is a Garg angle right now. Now that hydrapple has gone, Garg looks insane. Like, Garg actually looks insane. I do not mind that as well. We get a beautiful hit off on this. And depending on what they go into, I'll be in a good spot too. Because I can even Terra in front of the Iron Treads if they want to make that play. If they go Caldeo, they'll be taking so much damage as well. And once I set up one Iron Defense, it's kind of over. Well, it feels kind of over. Uh, Caldeo, of course, is a problem though. I don't have any water resist on this team. This team is mono, no water resist. I will say though, it's very unlikely that most of these Pokemon are Terra Fairy besides Garg. So I can SD them with Garchomp and try and put in some work. Ah, the treads. Nice. It's going to tear a ghost and go for a nice little body press here. Doesn't matter that they went for that versus the, uh, versus like a, a rapid spin. I just wanted to keep up webs. That'll help my Garchomp beat Caldeo. Caldeo's coming out right now, by the way. <laughs> I can't do anything about it. Caldeo definitely coming out right now. Hey, how are you? I'm good. I'm just losing. It's gonna be one Hydro Pump. Oh, they didn't Hydro Pump. Perfect. So we gotta recover. I maxed it up, so I figured I'll take one. If they go for anything that's not, um, anything that's not like Hydro Pump. All right, I guess they can't. They could tear a Water Hydro Pump as well. But Salt Cure on a Water and a Steel type come in is so nasty. By the way, guys, if you want this team, it's on my website, Pokey.com. Big shout out to Lily for it. And also, if you are new to the channel. Feel free to sub. I'm on my way to a huge, to a very huge half a million subs. And y'all can help me get there. You can really help me get there. I'm going for the Life Orb um, Close Combat, by the way, right now. If they want to make the Tornadus play, that's fine. I get in Garchomp right after. And I figured Scizor might be the first to come out. And Scizor takes 10 billion percent. Scizor actually takes 10 billion percent. I'll even just go throw rocks and like just... Bring out my blaze again right after. Anyway, this time. Let's SD. Let's see if this works out for me. Yeah, they just bullet punch. Perfect. So they probably have Vacuum Wave on Caldeo, which is honestly fine. Uh, Vacuum Wave will be able to pick me off if they, they want to go for it, but I will make the Garg play, then I'll go for Iron Defense, and then we'll start just trying to win from there. If they go Garg, I'm always going for the... Uh... Surely it's Vacuum Wave, right? Like, why else would you bring this thing up? Actually, if it's Vacuum Wave, who cares? Yeah, I just go Iron Moth and start cooking. And by Iron Moth, I mean Garchomp. I literally go Garchomp and start cooking. Like, what now? You gonna taunt me? You gonna switch? I'm good. Speed fell, unfortunately, but that does not matter. Because I'm still faster than Caldeo. And then it comes down to these two. Garg does live the hit, but it doesn't win the game. Like they can Terra and live, but it won't it won't win them the game. 
And there's not one move that can click with Cal the other way. Because this is plus two Earthquake at the end of the day, right? They're paralyzed as well. Exactly. So at the end of the day, if they have Protect, that's fine. But there's a chance they get paralyzed. And afterwards, Cal just has to click one move. And it basically ends up losing. So they shout out to Blaze again, making this possible. What did it do? It killed two Pokemon. There you go, Blaze again. And we win the game right there. So not bad. Not bad. Just all the Brokens working with each other. Terra Ghost, Garg also being pretty cool. Garg was definitely an issue for that team. I think what should have been happening more that game was like they, if they had Terra Water, just Terra Water and just click, you know, water move, water move, water move. The flip turn really hurt them out. Like I didn't have a water resist. So I guess they were scouting for... No, I had a Terra at that point either. I don't know. I had no water resist. Also, if you guys didn't know, I am affiliated with Samsung. If you want to help me out, if you want to check out their new... Uh, Galaxy that's coming out because they have the reserve campaign for that going out simply clicking that link down below goes a long way And you can actually reserve to get $50 in Samsung credit. You want to go the extra mile put in your first name last name email Helps out as well. It's no obligation to buy. They'll just hit you up in an email be like yo uh, it's, it's available. You want it? No, okay. Bye. That's how it's gonna happen, right? I don't know why I made it a phone call, but I did let's look for another game bear right back a lot of threats on that opponent's team very, 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 very Garchomp League. I expect Tentacruel, especially because of this. Exactly. Uh, not sure what they want to do here, but I'll be clicking the uh, Earthquake button. <laughs> I guess Latios makes a lot of sense in that situation, huh? I didn't think so because I could also scale shot, but we get a Rabombi, which is essentially the same thing. I'll just go right for the Stun Spore here. Tentacruel can come out. Not going to bother going for webs yet. This could be some sort of... Uh, toxic spike variant, which I'm not too worried about. I got Iron Moth to absorb that. But basically, just want a situation where Tenacruel is slower than Blaziken. Nice flip turn, taking advantage of the fact that it learns in now. I appreciate that very, very much. I actually really love that, that they took advantage of that. That's such a cool buff for Tenacruel. I've very much enjoyed it getting this. Watch the scale shot. Yeah! That's a cool buff for Lottie too, but not in that situation. <laughs> anyway. Goal of this is going to be get up rocks and maybe uh, ghost with guard. I can see them going one of these. They do have the Palma to potentially revive a blessing one of these guys. Scissor should come out, but I'm not sure if it's the best. Also, I want to make this Terra Fire. Make this Terra Fire, just some bullet punches. Poison's cool though because you can't be toxic and you absorb toxic spike as well. So I'm not 100% sure which one's better. But I'm going to go fire. Actually, should I just go steel? I'll go steel. Steel Resist Draco Meteor, it doesn't resist Earthquake, but Steel Resist Draco Meteor and Luster Purge and Bullet Punch, while also not making me weak to um, Aqua Jet. This is going to do a good chunk too. That's some nice damage. That's some nice damage. Shoot. Let me get the spike up real quick on your U-turn to do 10 billion percent. I just want to spike just to pressure them for FD Blaze. Like, FD Blaze can go crazy real soon. It just needs a little bit more damage. Bullet Punch from Scissor will only KO me if they're banned. I think they U-turn, though. Exactly. So, beautiful. That's plus two knockoff range as well. Um, if they want to go Tentacruel, I go Life Orb Terrakion. And I just click the Earthquake. Garchomp definitely could have put in a lot more work here. And maybe I played it a little bit too aggressive. But I like what Spike can do. And this is a, this is a Life Orb Terrakion, my friend. I'm clicking this. If this Earthquake does not KO a Tentacruel... All hope is lost in the world. All hope is lost in the world. Ah, wait, it KO'd Tentacruel. We're good. For a second, all hope was lost in the world. But luckily, we're back. We're so back. Latios comes out to click a psychic move. We can go Rabombi now. On Luster Purge. And I'll throw up a sticky web. Let's find out if you're Scarf or not. But webs is going to be nice for helping me deal with <laughs> these demons. Ooh, are you uh, default? Nice. They're not default because they have Rapid Spin Tentacruel. We absolutely take those. We absolutely take those. I'm thinking that this monster is going to smoke me. How do I want to deal with this? If I get the chip on them. The thing is, I don't want to tear up yet. Okay, I'm going to go Garg and click one Salt Cure. I should live a Surf. I'll live a Drake. It's going to do a lot. Every attack this Pokemon goes for is going to do a lot. But I need a little bit of chip on Latios so I can try and win the game with uh, Iron Moth just without having to Terrasalize with it. Basically, I need to knock it out with Dazzling Gleam. So, Salt Kick gives me the best options. I don't think they'll have Trick on this set because look at their Draco Meteor, Flip Turn, Luster Purge. Probably, maybe Aura Sphere. I'm not even sure. Anyway, 
Doesn't matter. Garg is really good. Garg is like super, super strong. They went for Aura Sphere and did two. Oh, okay. So they're, they're maybe Salt Dew, uh, salt dew or something. Salt Dew. <laughs> yeah, they are right now. But okay, I thought there were specs maybe. I thought they may have been uh, specs in this particular game. But that's amazing. So now I don't have to worry about that. I don't care about you as a mon either. Because I don't think they can win. I don't think they win. I think I just tear an iron defense. Uh, yeah, them getting revival blessings, as long as they can't spin, who cares if Tentacruel comes back? And if they have Encore, that's fine too, because I just get multiple defense raises. I'll take it. Yeah, double shot. What's that going to do to me? I'm plus two defense now. All right, this guy won. Shout out to Garg. Garging it up. What you about to do too? You're going to die. <laughs> yeah, get out of there. That's why I paralyze you for Garg. This game's over. Nah, they still got Lottie. Oh. Fam, <laughs> this said ghost. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's a really nice one. That's a really nice play. However, I don't think that matters. Do they have Aleppo? Because I'm going hard to rack y'all right now. And I'm KOing something on this Terra Dark knockoff. Yep. Nice boost, huh? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yo, I always used to love going to rack on dark moves, man. Uh, Gen Fire. All right, we get another game. We'll be right back. This person's team is wild. Just straight up H O. I like it though. I like it. Terra Steel Guard Chomp. <laughs> Help me out, please. Blaziken looks nice though. Blaziken looks nice. I don't know if Grimstar is gonna be having taunt on this, but I go for Moonblast just in case they want to taunt turn one, just to do a lot of damage to them, and then preserve my Sash for later. The biggest problem is gonna be the fact that. Um, Metagross kind of just ignores everything. Hmm. Go for Stun Spore. Yeah, okay. That's what I figured would come out, right? And we actually end up hitting Metagross, which is great. So this is a giant threat. Don't get me wrong, especially if it agility's up, but I think I can just kind of play a little bit more aggressive in front of it and just kind of ign mainly ignore it. It looks to be leftovers too, so I don't know if it has ice punch as well. Just heavy slam. Which is an insane buff, by the way. Look how much that did. Yo. That did so much damage. What? I think this might just be another Garg angle. It may just be another Garg angle. Definitely gonna BP here. I think I can afford to go Garg. Take a billion percent, but... I can tear an iron defense. This mod is broken. This mod just straight up broken. Look how much that heavy slam is gonna do. 13. Let's go for assault cure here. I don't even know what you bring out on this mod is the thing. Like, what do you bring out? They don't have knockoff, thankfully. So I'll, I'll basically be at full. I still think Blaziken uh, straight up smokes them as well. So go for another iron defense as Latios comes out. If this thing wants to trick me, it'll be a little annoying. They actually tear a steel, which I think hurts them. More than it helps. I think it hurts them more than it helps them. Because, yeah, they avoid that. But I'm not I'm not non-body press, you know? This is only going to do around 60. I do get a speed up drop, but they have no real special attackers left. And they wasted their Terra. And nothing on this team beats me. Absolutely. I mean, they do have this. That definitely doesn't beat me. They can get up screens all at once. I think I just keep boosting. Also, I have Rabombi to always stop this monster. So, I'll go for Assault here again. But parting, uh, oh, they have crunch. They actually have a, a dark attack. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Iron defense up, Tom, baby. Do I want to save you and, like, use you later? Yeah, why not? Sounds fun. Nice little blazing angle. They can parting shot up all they want. I'm still plus one. And it's Como as well, which is the mod I need a big hit off on. Clear amulet. Interesting. Am I bad for resting up again? I'm gonna do it. I don't think I die. I lie. <laughs> By the way, the correct answer was yes when I say am I bad for resting up again. I just didn't wanna like, if they were gonna like belly drum or swords dance or do whatever because they have the reflect up, I wanted the extra boost. Their whole team is gonna lose to me clicking Moonblast by the way. And by Moonblast, I mean it's just gonna lose to Garg. I'm just gonna Garg them, whatever. I tried to blaze again in this game. I really did. I really did. One simple, one simple recovers all I need. 
And this mom wasn't even special, which is the only reason why I switched out guard to begin with, just in case it was a defensive variant. Pretty sure they died because they went for CC and lowered their defense, so gone. You definitely don't beat me. All you got is what? Wild charge to either hurt yourself or thunder punch? Ice punch can't even freeze? Yeah, this mon's getting banned. This mon's getting... This mon is getting banned banned. We'll get into the game. We'll be right back. When you lose to Porygon. This is literally that matchup. This feels like that matchup. And they lead off with the Dawn as well. So I could technically tear a ghost here, but I need my ghost for the other one. Oh, never mind. We're good. Yeah, we're real good here. That's actually amazing, because this mon's taking way too much as well. You can matcha gotcha all you want. Unfortunately, they've crit me there. I will actually get up webs, just because I'm a little worried about this. What is this spirit bomb-esque <laughs> animation? What you doing there? <laughs> Bro, what? Y'all saw that? I'm glad they missed, though. I lost. I quite literally lose to this Pokemon. What's the best play? Surely it's Garg and Iron Defense, right? On Earthquake. Okay. So I'll take Acro. I know it's going to crit me. 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 And I know I'm going to lose this mod. Luckily, that's not the case. I can see them tricking here. I would love to get up spikes as well. Specs. I'd rather go down. Get up my hazard here. Get up more. And then hopefully beat the Minior. Because I think that uh, with spike up, Life Orb CC just wrecks everything. Tereki on time. You gonna tear? You didn't tear? Go ahead and go down. Perfect. Got all them hazards up. Dawn fan comes out maybe? If it's boots. It's Metagross. I'm gonna CC because I can't risk them being weakness posse and sweeping me just like Minior. Perfect. Psychic Fangs. There's a Blaze again show right now. CC just in case they Terra into something crazy. Okay, now you're dead. <laughs> uh, Blaziken cleans up. That should be it, right? I'm adamant as well. As long as Dawnfan takes spikes, I win. At this point, nothing matters. Look how much CC does. I think Gardevoir runs like offensive terrors too. Like Fairy and, and... It should run Fairy in my opinion. Oh, it actually runs Water. And Blaziken said, I don't care. <laughs> Yo! Finally, that's what I'm talking about. A mon that says, I don't care what Pokemon you have. I'm going to KO you because I'm blazing. And this is what I, this is what I missed. That's what I was missing. That's what I was missing. We'll get another game. We'll be right back. Look at this team from the opponent. Oof. That Gengar, main mon, I got to slow down with the webs. Everything else doesn't really matter, but blazing looks good. I'm liking my, uh, my homie in this game. I wonder if they have defog on this. Scizor. I really hope they don't. They just play a game with like no default. That'd be nice. Stun Spore. They do have default, unfortunately. Mm. Okay. I can let Garchomp. Even though Garchomp's really good, I'm assuming the Rotom has like some sort of defensive pair, uh, defensive terror to deal with it. So I'm actually just going to try and just spike up as well and then see if I can put in some work later with my Blaziken. That's like the, the game plan here. Get up as many has as possible, use them, hopefully scissors not boots, and then go from there. I wasn't trying to go anywhere anyway, buddy. I was just trying to get up as many has as possible, go down, and then try and win the game with young scissor. Because honestly, it looks possible. I definitely SD just in case that they go scissor because they're, they're forced to bullet punch me basically. Also, we could find out what the Hydreigon set is if they go out to that first. Yeah, Scissors for it's unfortunately boots. I'm surprised that they actually went to this considering if they get paralyzed, Scissors dead. It's time. The time is now. SD. Hmm, SD, my child. It is absolutely time. 
CC absolutely cooks Rotom. I would have to say that they probably Terra, right? That's just a plus two knock. They don't kill me with anything. And I'm now faster than everything, so I'll take it. I can't believe they did that, though. CC literally cooked this thing. I mean, CC definitely cooks you, right? Surely. Surely. This is Adamant plus two. Bro, Blaziken, what you doing, bro? Just knock off. I really thought they Terra, and they might be running Terra Ghost in, uh, in Yu Yu. I could be wrong. <laughs> I was wrong, actually. Anyway, plus two knock is free. Nothing they bring out is actually a threat for it. Also, my Garg still wins, which is why I'm not as worried about anything, because it's Garg at the end of the day. It's natural typing is actually fine here. It's better than Ghost, because now I'm not weak to Dark or Ghost. Like, that's why I feel like I could play Blaziken like this. Ah, I guess some nice little recovery right there. Let's go. Good job. I wonder if this Mon's actually going to continuously just ignore the full para. Hmm. Okay. Bullet Punch. Can go you. Double the Taraki on here. Because I clearly KO you. And then I have free Stone Edge. Yep. Free Stone Edge. Stone Edge nabs a KO on something. Just in case they Terra Fairy as well. I'm basically trying to, uh, to, to force their Terra. But Stone Edge will KO Aloe. Will KO Gengar. Goodbye, Allo. You deserve a good rest. I will take it. I will take it. Spikes don't really matter anyway because none of these guys are affected. Gengar comes up. What are you clicking? Focus Blash? I'll go Iron Moth. Yep. Ooh, that special defense drop is annoying. Because now Shadow Ball is a 2 KO. I'm going to assume that they're playing it though. Like it's, it's not the set I think it is. Make the Garg play. So one Salt Cure should nab Gengar, right? And the wave doesn't matter. What do they even do to this? I just Salt. I actually, yeah, I Salt and I, I get Gengar. Oh, and I got a nasty crit. So Gengar actually ends up dying. Oh, that's huge. Hi, Dragon comes out. Just in case it's sub, I'll go you. Terra steals, hits me with a flash cannon. Oh, I actually live, which is crazy. You scarf? Hmm. Depending on what happens here, this could be wild. This endgame. Because it's not it's definitely not scarf, right? They playing like it's not. I don't think they BP. I'm not, I'm gonna pull the double. I'm gonna expect them to go out into Blissey here. You shouldn't just BP and sack this. You can sack it for later. Exactly. And now you're forced to sack a Pokemon. I'll make the play I need to. Now you're forced to sack a Pokemon. If it's Blissey, they lose. If it's Hydreigon, they lose. I mean, they're playing it like it's not. Okay, it's Blissey, yeah. So they lose to Iron Moth now. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Pokemon. Eh, just get paralyzed. You haven't been paralyzed once this entire game. What was the point? What was the point? What actually was the point? There it goes. Give me a special attack raise too. I'm tired of this. Not even a special attack raise. Is it actually Scarf? It's not. Dark Pulse does not KO me. Fire Dent. Yeah, it's a subset. I figured. Nice. Good game. Blaziken. Okay, that was definitely a Blaziken game. Blaziken put in a lot of work. Blaziken put in a lot of work in this game. We get another one. We'll be right back. This team is crazy. I've never seen so much for Blaziken, but so little for Garg. Nah, they're going to have like all that crap that moves it around. But luckily, uh, I get up every hazard in this game, so I'm okay with that. Basically, I think I tear a ghost with Garg and win, but I could be wrong. Oh, I got to get my laundry after this. Hopefully, this game doesn't take too long. But I think I tear a ghost with Garg and six of them. Right, first, we'll get up our sticky web because those are there to stay. Nice, and I have no idea what they're revenge killing me with. Cool. 
you actually do make a lot of sense. I should be careful. Sap Sipper. Let's get my chip. I'll bring it back to Rakion, use it to get up rocks. And then go Garchomp and use that to get up hazards too. I mean, SD Garchomp also goes crazy, which is why I'm like, I'm going to go Terrakion first. I shouldn't be able to kill Terrakion on one hit. So get up our rocks here. Again, just trying to pressure as much as possible. That should be AV as well. That did 17. Oh, okay. Well, it's begun. It has begun. It has begun. I did zero. Hmm. I think I do this now. I think I quite literally do this now. This is boots. I I think I quite literally do this now. It helps me actually beat most of their team later. Yeah, I get my leftovers knocked off, but do you have taunt? Do you have taunt? I don't know if they have taunt. I mean, they should. They're Deoxys, right? Is it taunt recover? Let's find out. Because if they taunt me, then I get up hazards as well with Garchomp. I think it's recovered uh, teleport. Oh, they Terragosa with that. Okay, that's cool. Um, I have mult. I have more iron defenses than you have life. So I'm not sure if this works out in their favor. But I'll go for one salt here here just in case they want to go aloe. They do have the double. Oh, they're, they're gonna be going back and forth between this and aloe. Okay, okay. They wasted their Terra, which is cool. But nothing on their team can kill me. I think they think I'm... Hopefully they don't think I'm body press as the last move anyway. Even though they Terra Ghosted. So I'm assuming they do think I'm body press. Just go for body press here. Let's see if they go back to Deoxys. They do not. Perfect. So we get rid of Garchomp. Awesome. Yeah, they're going to have to stall me out with Deoxys. But I don't even think that's... Po I'm like plus six now. It just kills everything. This is a guard game. One salt cure for you. And then we get one recover off because this is the, the healthiest I'm going to be this entire game. So it's going to take a while to get rid of their recovers. And technically they can go back and forth between uh, a few of the mods. I just iron defense every single time. As long as they're using recovers, it's helping me out. Like this is not a, it's not a losing game for me. You know, I can come back in and do this later as well. So I'm okay with this. This this mod, absolutely busted in this tier. There's that teleport. How many saw cures? Vault switch into Dio. Fair. Fair, fair, fair. They can actually wish pass back and forth between this and Aloe as well. I might I might actually end up switching. I think I will. Because I also think SD Garchomp just wins the game immediately. Yeah, nice. Nice job. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I, if they actually waste one turn recovering, I get plus four and I win. So I think, especially with Deoxys being this low. So let's hit him with the scale shot. Hurricane does not KO me. Also, there's a, there's a world where I actually... I mean, you never get five hits with this move, but there's a world where you get five hits right there and you just straight up KO and you just win the game. There is a world where that just straight up happens right there. I... This is going to do a lot. Might as well do a lot. Oh, Good game. <laughs> yep. Ah, Garg plus Guard Chomp. What a beautiful combo in the UU tier. You absolutely love to see it. We'll get into the game in a sec. We'll be right back. Our opponent has the best answer to Iron Moth there is. Sarah Ledge. I don't even think there's a point of getting up webs in this game, but slowing down Sarah Ledge or Blaze is going to be good. I'm assuming it's Boots, though. So I'm going to lead Rabombi just because I'm hoping they lead off with one of these so I can slow them down. That's basically my thought process. I'm okay with them Volt switching out with Zapdos into Scissor to Bullet Punch me because I get damage on it for Blaze again for later. Ooh, a nice a nice and weakened Zapdos, too. And that can't confuse me either. That does a lot of damage. Yo, that's amazing. That's actually like the one mod on the team I needed weakened for, well, besides Dawn Fam. But the one mod on the team I need a weekend for my homie to put in work. So we'll go to Rackion on here. I'm going to close combat into Dawn Fan because Stone Edge is very, uh, 
very obvious, and I just want to break it sturdy. I guess I could bring out something else, but... Okay, luckily I wasn't punished there. Latios comes out. It's gonna Luster Purge. Hmm. How do I win this game with Blaze again? It's a tough scenario. I do think you win the game on your own. I feel like Iron Moth is useless. I'm gonna throw away Iron Moth, whereas this mod can come in on Tornadus. So I'm gonna throw away Iron Moth as they Luster Purge there. Smoke me. Bring on my Garchomp and go right for Scale Shot. Again, the goal is to... Ooh. Hmm. Well, if I knew they weren't gonna go Garchomp, a uh, Dolphin, I would've switched, but... Okay. This is gonna be difficult. I need you so that way they can't spam this move. So I'm SD. Obviously, they're going for that. I get a knockoff here. Uh, ideally, they go hard Dawn fan. That would be like best case scenario. I don't have to KO Latios. I just have to weaken anything coming in. Like Torn, obviously dying would be great. Nice. Dawn fan does not KO me, but they do have a billion priority on this team. It doesn't KO me though. So I'm gonna go for knock. Jeez, it did a lot. It had boots anyway, so getting up hazards wasn't even gonna do anything for me. So the ice shard here as well. I need to keep you alive. That way I can iron defense up and try and win. I have to switch. I basically have to switch if they have ice shard. Yep. Perfect. Go for a nice safe earthquake. I guess I could punch him in the face with CC. Basically, I need to keep Blazing alive so that way they can't luster purge me. This is going to be a, a close as hell endgame. That may or may not result in an L, but get rid of you. Scizor comes out. Oh, I should definitely close combat just in case they SD up. I have to iron defense in front of Scizor as well. They do opt to SD. Not life orb. We go Garg and we just pray. Legit, that's it. I think we go Garg and we pray. I mean, I can iron defense and pray that they don't do any damage to me, but they're going to do a billion percent. Yeah. So I think I lost at that point. Good game. GG. Yeah, so like the, Ladia, the Latios trade is really difficult for this team because you need to basically Terra with one of these two. I didn't expect Terra Fairy I, I, initially. I thought it would be Psychic or something, which is why I got smoked immediately. <laughs> like, no, <laughs> no hesitation. Anyway, Garchomp looks like it's 6-0s here. I lied. They let off with me and Chow. I'm switching. Let's see if they give me webs or if they're scarf. Perfect. Hmm. Webs on both sides. I'd rather go Garchomp. Go for SD. And then use my Terra Steel to try and win. Because I think that Garchomp can actually just straight up win with webs up too. This is assuming this KOs Araquanid, by the way. Which it should. Yep. Cool. So we KO that. Arcanine is going to come out and click E-Speed. I can Terra in front of that. I think this KO is Ogre Pond. This just wins. This should just win. Unless I'm wrong. I feel like... Mianxia for you for sure, by the way. Mon's the GOAT. But this should just win. I'm Terra Steel now. Yeah, it should definitely just win. Also... Is it better just to scale shot just in case they Terra? Yeah. They do Terra. Oh, it actually KOs me. Oh, that hurts. Wait, does it? Don't I actually just smoke them with this thing? Very easily? I definitely smoke you. I for sure go for Salt Cure first as well. Yo, Banded Reckless is crazy. Okay, I know how to win. I have to get up rocks to break the sturdy and stuff like that. Garg being alive doesn't actually help me. I get up rocks here because I have to break. I have to bust uh, sturdy on this mon to try and blaze in them. That's basically what I got to go for. And even on top of that, it doesn't even win the game because they have E-Speed. I'm keeping uh, Garganico alive. That way I can take the E-Speed from that guy too. 
Let's see how this goes. Because I gotta find a situation to SD up, and I'm not even gonna be able to find it, aren't I? All right, hard Iron Moth makes sense. Special attack raise, which cooks me. Yep. Mmm. I think mean, I lost. Bro, Banded Reckless is crazy. I did not expect. If I would have known it wasn't that, I would have just body pressed. I didn't expect to die. So I was like, all right, I'll stalk here. I'll take close combat for days, easily. And then try and win from there. But now they're going to be able to e speed me late game. I guess we'll just go for the same thing as each other. And not getting that is really bad for me. I'm pretty sure this is a good game. Special attack raise just smokes me. Good game. Dude, Mian Shao cooked. Mian Shao straight up. Why are they laughing the whole time? That's crazy. But yeah, I got cooked by that mon. It's crazy though, if, if I was Terra Ghost, if I didn't Terra with Garchomp and I just Terra Ghost with Garg, that was a 6 0. So that's my fault for even thinking about doing that. And you know what? I will be doing it here. And by that, I mean I'm just SDing up again. F it. We're scale shotting. F it. They're very, very bulky chomp too. I think winning the speed tie is actually pseudo worse for me. Oof. Okay, tracking is not bad. I actually do want to get up rocks for a Raccoonid as opposed to actually KOing this because Earthquake would not KO me based on the fact that they took that little and they went for Dragon Tail as well. Oh, one second. Okay. Mmm, the Earthquake here. I'm going to sack you because I don't want Bramble Gas coming in for free. Okay. That's annoying. Actually, that's better. How much I take for Spike? I will get up webs. Perfect. Can I win the game with SD Blaziken now? No. Trying to think what's the best course of action. Does I take 12? I don't take enough. It's definitely you. Forcing a Raquinid. They pick up the KO. This is just like max, 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 max. Sludge wave. Uh, basically, they have to decide between webs or not. If they if they don't get webs here, I think I, I win. Because that's resisted, right? Because of its ability. So I think I win. If they, yeah, uh, exactly. If they got up webs there. All right, basically we set up for the Garg. I'm just going to assume knockoff KOs you. I'm Adam and Blaze again. Exactly. Cool. So we've set up for the Garg. The Garg has been set up to win. Maybe. I could also just lose the vacuum wave. Garchomp dies. Metagross does not KO me. I mean, that's if they're even vacuum wave on their Caldeo. I guess they just want the chip with rough skin Rocky Helmet. Fair. Very fair. Hmm. I, I mean, I guess they go maybe Bramble and Terra Ghost. Come on, makes sense too. All right, we get my CC damage off on it. Weaken this again, helping out Garg. Also helping out Terrakion. Terrakion looks stupid good. I need Keldeo. I need a Keldeo to come out though. That thing with 58 is crazy damage. Ooh, nice special attacking. I don't think it matters if they. They're obviously Terra normal, right? Pretty sure Earthquake just KOs this mon. And the only reason I'm thinking Earthquake over CC is because I want them to go Bramble Gas so I can knock it out with Stone Edge to turn after. Again, I don't really care if they spin, I think. Also, Bramble might just die. I don't know. This is Life Orb. I, I have no idea, like, the damage calcs on this. I really don't. Like, Tarak is a strong mon. If they're offensive, they just die. Oh, never mind that too. <laughs> I'm gonna say if they're offensive, they just straight up die. But like Tarak is a strong mon, bro. Tarak does not care. I CC here. All right, guard time. Talk here once. I have to recover. I mean, if this is Specs, I lose anyway, right? Oh my god. 
That did so much damage. Oh, another body. Ah, I needed more. I need a plus six. Damn, I just lost like three in a row. GG. On Fort. On Fort. Yo, yeah, they just get up all them has regard to I should just like straight up killed it. I should have also ran the calc before. Grump Pig fan. I should have also ran the calc before um, with Stone Edge on that demon. They got some mons in their team, well, that's for sure. We definitely want to be Terra Ghost Garg in this game. I think I need to Terra Ghost in me. And there's Shell Smash Blastoise too. You're actually insanely weak to Garchomp. Like, actually insanely weak to Garchomp. Yeah, I don't mind them getting up hazards here. They die, yeah. That's great. That means I don't have to Terra... I mean, I will be Terra Ghosting, don't get me wrong. I'm also going to get up a Spike too, because Barrasquit is annoying. The Ice Beam, I get up webs. Which will make Iron Moth be faster than Barrascuta. And Iron Moth can win. You can also just go hard Barrascuta as well. Nice figure, super defensive. So I get off Earthquake Chip, perfect. I really doubt the Blasters has spin. I think it's going to be Shell Smash on this team. As it should come out. The thing is, this thing just smokes me anyway, doesn't it? Because I'm not Terra Water on this set. Oh, thank God. Okay. Worth. Super worth. That's okay, too. Lazy comes out. They're going to click Hurricane here. Bring on my Tarak. Click Edge, I KO Politoed. They have a lot of turns of Barrasquita, but... Oh, Worth, yeah, that's great. Hell yeah. That's, I mean, that's real good. They have a lot of turns of Barrasquita, but I, I don't know if it's enough. No, it's plus two speed. It's definitely enough to win. Shit, this thing definitely cooks me. It just Terra Waters here and wins. So originally this is Terra Fairy, which wouldn't have helped in this situation at all. Yeah, I, I don't have enough. I don't have enough oomph on the team. I, I mean, I have. Look at my water resist. A bunch of losses in a row. And I was faster. What? Oh, it's adamant. Duh. GG. I am five twenty five speed, but it's minus one then times two that. Oh, what is that like? Oh no! Then my original thing was good. Hold up. Iron Moth, 525. Is it really that slow in the ring? 494. You're that's. If I knew it was that slow in the ring, I would have obviously went that first. All right, let's not get an L to end this video, and let's get a dub in this next game, and then run while we're ahead, because I came back from getting the laundry, and it's just loss after loss after loss. We'll be right back. One win. Maybe I should make Guard Terra Water, but Terra Ghost has been really good in this. Live. I love Blaziken. What a good mon. Go to Rakan. I choose you. You're insane in this game. <laughs> also, Volcanion is really strong into me. Iron Trust does not KO me one Earthquake, which is why I'm making this play. Also, I'm willing to get up rocks here as well as an alternative. Just because it obviously punishes these guys. Worth. Super worth. I'm going to go Garg and Terra Ghost just so they can never spin. Again, it's just so they can never spin. It does help the Hoopa. But it's literally just for the situation. I don't mind that either. I get a lot of damage off on you, but... Nice little recover. I was like, why did I look like I was taking hail damage for a sec? But yeah, they'll never be able to spin this month, which is nice. Does Brave Bird actually KO me? Surely you're banded if you went hard into that, right? I'm, I'm risking this. Surely this is banded. Why else would you go? There's no freaking way that ever KO'd me. What? This is so sad. Can we get 10,000 likes? There was no way that ever, ever, ever KO'd me. I just won with that mod. <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, if they go back to Zapdos, they just die. Yeah, like, what, what are you doing? 
Like, yeah, that was doing... <laughs> Look how little that was doing to everything. I can't believe that happened. Go ahead and give me this mod. Oh, and I get a recover off too? Let's go. Hell yeah. All right, Blaziken's looking insane with all these hazards up. Now if they get a veil, who cares? Miss the hoops comes out. Do I go hard Blaziken like a demon? Ooh. I, I want to keep all my sacks. Let's go hard Blaziken like a demon. Yeah. Free Quake. Why is everything on this team Scarf, bro? <laughs> Why is everything on this team Scarf? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Legit everything on this team is Choice Scarf. The second they Terra Fairy with this, they lose the Iron Moth. So I always CC. Yeah, if they if they Terra Fairy with that, it's an instant loss to Moth. Because they died a uh, close combat into my um, Fiery Dance. You'll be blitzed. Ooh, Terra Fire. I think you still die. <laughs> yeah. Ah, this is blazing it. Let me eat that leftovers too. Yum, 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 yum. Goodbye, Hoopa. You deserve a good... Ah, nice little blazing and sweep to end the video. Let's go. I'm cooking this whole Sizzlers family right now. Get out of there. Tell Scyther and tell Cleavor too. I'm coming. All right, we're ending on that. Definitely took a lot of L's towards the end of this video, but still very fun. Blazing and fun mon. This tier is wild. Uh, I do think Terra Water Garg is amazing. I do think Terra Fairy Garg is amazing. I think if you're using Terra Fairy, because Ghost, I think, needs to be full of special defense. But I think if you're using Terra Fairy, you can afford to go Impish. You can actually live hits. Anyway, hope y'all enjoy. Team's on the website, Pokedex.com. Thank you so much, Lady for the Squad. And again, if y'all want to support me, click this Samson affiliate link. Feel free to check out more information about their reserve campaign for the new Galaxy. And signing up is zero obligation to buy, but you do save. They contact you. It's literally, literally, it's no, it's zero obligation. So it's, it's again, you do not have to buy it by doing that, but you do support me, uh, whether you buy it or not. So I'll see you on the next one. Peace.